Hi everybody, this is the Math 30-1 Trig 2 review. This is question 4. Uh, what we're supposed to do here is just verify that sine squared plus cos squared is equal to 1 when x is equal to 5 pi over 3. Now, there are a few ways to do this, but what we really want you to do with this, okay, um, is, is to plug that value in and evaluate and show that that does equal 1 on the, on the right-hand side. Now, I know that we can plug this into the calculator and get that to work out, but that's really not the spirit of this question and why we're asking it here. So we want this to be the sine squared of 5 pi over 3 plus the cosine squared of 5 pi over 3. And so, because we want you to go through the process of thinking it through like this. Okay, 5 pi over 3. What quadrant is that in to start off with? Now, if you don't know what quadrant that is in, let me help you out here. Okay, first of all, I know that the reference angle is going to be pi over 3. And I know that because when I look at the angle here, all I got to do is this. Yoink. Pi over 3. That's my reference angle. Just cover up that number. There it is. Okay, that's it. So I know that what that reference angle is telling me to do is that I'm taking pi, chopping it into thirds. One, two, three. Remember, pi is just to go from here over to here. Now, if you're, if you're chopping up the top half of the circle into thirds, well, that's also going to chop up the bottom half into thirds. And the angle that I'm giving here is 5 pi over 3. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Remember, we start on the positive x-axis. We rotate around. Now, I haven't drawn in the, the vertical axis because that gets a little bit confusing here. But this is what 5 pi over 3 looks like. This is where it's going to be. That is definitely in the fourth quadrant, and my reference angle here is going to be pi over 3. So, I ask this, sine. Well, sine is going to be negative in the fourth quadrant, and the reference angle is pi over 3, and that's all squared. Cosine is going to be positive in the fourth quadrant, and so it'll be the cosine of pi over 3, and that will be all squared. Now I just got to go back and think, and I can think about this in either in terms of the, the unit circle or special triangles, but I got to think, okay, what ratio is a sine of pi over 3? Okay, let's think about that. Pi over 3 is, if you need to, it's like 60 degrees. Think about the unit circle. That's going to be negative root 3 over 2. Okay, we'll square that in just a second. For cosine, that's just going to be 1 over 2 squared. Now, the square here is going to get rid of the negative, okay, because negative times negative will be positive. Root 3 times root 3 is just going to be 3. 2 times 2 is 4. Then over here, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4. And now 3 quarters plus 1 quarter, that's just 1. And so there we go. We've been able to demonstrate that the left side and the right side are equivalent by plugging in that, that angle and evaluating.